Hi, my name is Megan Griffith, co-author of the Recovering from Mental Illness blog here on Healthy Place, and today I want to talk to you about the difference between healthy behavior and convenient behavior, because they are not always the same thing. Uh, convenient behavior is just when you behave in a way that's convenient for other people, it's focused on others. Healthy behavior is behavior that is actively good for you as a person, so it's not focused on others, it's focused on you. Um, a lot of times these behaviors coincide, and that's great when that happens, but a lot of times they don't. And um, that rift can start in childhood for a lot of people. It did for me. Um, I grew up feeling like my emotions were wrong and bad, and as a result, I was wrong and I was bad. And so a lot of like shame brewed under the surface for me throughout my childhood. Uh, but I learned there was a really easy way to... Um, avoid being ridiculed and made fun of and yelled at for all of these incorrect emotions, I could just not exhibit them. I could just do what people wanted me to do and be who people wanted me to be, even if that's not who I was and not how I felt. They didn't need to know that, and I could just fly under the radar. I got really good at flying under the radar. Um, and this, you know, came back to bite me, <laughs> shockingly. Um, the thing is, when you exhibit a lot of convenient behavior, that isn't necessarily healthy for you, like repressing your own emotions, um, it makes it really hard for other people to help you because they can't tell that something's wrong because you're acting conveniently for them. You know, why, if you're not acting out, you're getting all of your work done, you seem normal and you fly right under that radar. And that's what I did for a long time until I ran out of places to put all of this shame and anxiety and all of those negative emotions that everyone had always told me were too dramatic. I just ran out of room and it started to deteriorate my life. And eventually I had to make a choice. Do I want to live like this forever, which just wasn't an option for me anymore because I was starting to completely break down, or do I need to start valuing myself? and valuing healthy behavior for me, even if it might be a pain for somebody else. And that's a really difficult decision. It's one you have to make over and over and over, and it's it's really challenging, but I'm working on it, and I think you can too. Uh, the biggest thing for me, the thing that's made the biggest difference, is challenging that internalized shame that makes me want to hide my emotions in the first place. You know, if I can get down to that root of the problem, right, this idea that if I exhibit the wrong type of emotion or exhibit emotions in the wrong way, then I am bad. If I can cut that off somehow and just accept my feelings for what they are, um, that makes such a huge difference. So even though healthy behavior and convenient behavior can go together, um, eventually, again, for a while, you might be a pretty inconvenient person as you heal from all of this hiding you've done for so long. And that's okay. It is not your job to be convenient for others. It's your job to be healthy and to be you.